order of the fucking Peaky Blinders. <laughs> now, I don't know about y'all, but there's something enthralling about watching a bunch of whiskey drinking English gangsters murk a bunch of people and engage in numerous heinous crimes in 4K. It's almost as if my life isn't exciting enough and I have to live vicariously through them. Lucky for me and any of you other poor lost souls out there, the developers at Maze Theory are working on bringing us one step closer to becoming a true virtual gangster. It's your boy TVG aka the virtual gangster and today i'm going to be talking about everything we know about the upcoming vr title peaky blinders the king's ransom let's get right into it so the squad over at maze theory decided that they're going to drop the game on march 9 2023 on MetaQuest and pico 4 headsets i think the idea is that they will eventually release it for other pc vr headsets but that date has not yet been disclosed so for the meantime you have to play on the standalone joints currently there's actually a demo that has been released for the pico 4 but not for the meta quest platform I'd assume that has to do with some type of European bullshit, as a headset is not available in the States. Which is crazy, because like, what I gotta do to get one of those headsets? Anyway, moving on to the storyline. For what I can tell from the gameplay and the trailers that I've seen, this game seems to be heavily story based. What do I mean by this? Well, while you get to explore the lore and environments of the original Peaky Blinders series, it's all within the confines of the storyline. Essentially, it's just not much of an open world experience. Think GTA or Saints Row. Could you imagine if you could just free roam the streets as a gangster in 1900s England? That'd be pretty dope. The thing that makes open world games so cool is their replayability. The Walking Dead Saints and Center does a pretty good job of allowing the player to do whatever they want unsupervised. To be fair, titles like GTA aren't really based on a TV series like the Peaky Blinders is, so I'll give it a pass. From the demo, the story seems pretty long, however I'm not sure how dynamic and engaging the gameplay is. There are several secrets and collectibles to find. The whole concept and lore of the Peaky Blinders is already interesting enough, so hopefully that'll compensate. And honestly, I think more developer studios should capitalize on this. For right now, the whole hoopla of VR is being able to simulate things you would never be able to do. I think a really low hanging fruit is putting the consumers in the worlds of their favorite entertainment sources, whether that be flat screen video games, TV shows, or movies. But hey, what do I know? Speaking of stories. Martin, one of the game's developers, quotes, most of the game environments are based off of the original set production plans used on a TV show. We work very closely with the Peaky Blinders teams to make them as screen accurate as possible. And from the looks of the gameplay, the graphics are pretty impressive, considering this is a standalone title. So apparently you're playing as Samuel Taylor, an old friend of Tommy Shelby, and you're trying to join the Peaky Blinders like a little groupie or some shit. You can't talk, but you're trying to prove yourself worthy of joining the Peaky Blinders. Obviously this deviates from the original storyline, but this seems to be set around season four of the actual show. All of the characters in the game are consistent with the characters in the actual show. This game has even gone as far as having the original actors voice act for their respective characters. For those that have watched the Peaky Blinders, this will be great for them as it can serve almost as a continuation of the story as they drop the final season back in June. For those that haven't, this could be a great intro into the series. And so far, that's everything we know about the upcoming VR title, Peaky Blinders, The King's Ransom. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and drop a comment letting me know if you're excited to play this game or not. I know y'all virtual gangsters are out there, so. <laughs>